crime is expected to be the focus of next year's mayoral race. Fox 45 News is hearing from frustrated residents who say something needs to change inside City Hall to help the city become safer. Is what are you going to do tomorrow, not a year and a half from now, not January of 2025 after election outcomes, but what will you do today working with the current mayor, working with the leadership of the Baltimore Police Department to ensure that acts of violence are not occurring to residents on a daily basis now? Well, there could be a shakeup in the mayor's race in the city. Former federal and state prosecutor Theru Vignaraja says he's forming an exploratory committee to weigh a mayoral bid. Fox 45's Keith Daniels looks at how this could reshape the race. Well, as you know, a run for the Baltimore mayor's office is not new to Theru Vignaraja. He's done it before unsuccessfully, but tonight he could try again. Theru Vignaraja. Back on the campaign trail to Baltimore City Hall's top job once again, maybe. Vignaraja announcing Friday that he is forming a campaign exploratory committee. Dr. Richard Vatz. Exploratory committees are usually symbolic. A political rhetoric professor at Towson University on the would-be candidate's calculated move. It tells he's going to run. <laughs> I mean... There are always exceptions, but I, I don't I can't think of any uh, any major candidates who have ever set up an exploratory committee who have not found an immediate ratification from that committee for their running. Vig Naraja released a statement on the matter that reads in part, folks have never been more frustrated with quote ineptitude and corruption in city government. That statement, part of his motivation to once again consider running for mayor once for mayor twice for state's attorney political scientist john Deedy. biggest problem he could have is you don't want to lose this race and then after this race become known as the perennial candidate that's the worst thing you could be called and people thinking of you as he's running again it's never a good look Vignaraja, a Democrat, ran unsuccessfully twice for Baltimore City State's Attorney, the last time in 2022, and for mayor in 2020. Current mayor Brandon Scott won the 2020 mayoral primary with nearly 30% of the vote, squeezing by current mayoral candidate Sheila Dixon. Vignaraja finished fourth with just over 11% of the vote. And now, some political observers believe, should Vignaraja choose to run again, he could, once again, shake things up, possibly splitting the vote, when one candidate takes more votes from one candidate than another. This time around, a lot of people feel that the vote splitting is with Sheila Dixon because they would be similar on issues related to crime and things like that. It is, it's a real possibility. I, and. In the worst situation for for uh, Sheila Dixon and for him, this could this could redound to uh, the, the uh, mayor mayor's advantage. But I think it's a, it's it's worth it's a risk worth taking. Well, Vignaraja will have to make his decision within the next several weeks. The filing deadline to get on the ballot is in early February. Reporting tonight, Keith Daniels, Fox 45 News. Theru Vignaraja has remained a prominent figure in Baltimore. He's run for mayor and city state's attorney twice. He represented the family of Timothy Reynolds, the man killed by, was convicted of being killed by a squeegee kid near the Inner Harbor last summer. A 16-year-old was convicted of voluntary manslaughter in that case. Vignaraja also filed lawsuits against BGE on behalf of hundreds of Baltimore homeowners, claiming the installation of external gas regulators was unsafe for residents. The city ultimately sided with them and banned installation without homeowner approval. City residents scored a major victory with CHAP unanimously deciding to block the installation of exterior regulators in historic districts across Baltimore. Mayor Brandon Scott and former Mayor Sheila Dixon are the presumed frontrunners in the Democratic primary race, but recent polling shows a sizable chunk of support for a third candidate. In a Goucher poll released in October, 23% of people said they prefer a third candidate, while 39% backed Sheila Dixon, 27 backed current Mayor Brandon Scott. At least eight people have filed paperwork uh, for the mayoral's race. That includes teacher Wendy Bozell and businessman Bob Wallace. That brings us to our question of the day. If the mayoral primary election was held today, 
Would you vote for Mayor Brandon Scott, Sheila Dixon, or a third candidate? So far, 56% of those who voted say a third candidate. Head to foxbaltimore.com slash vote to weigh in. I'm Kai Jackson. Thank you for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.